This is a video showing you how to remove the front wheel of the HXX8, the Turboant X7 Pro and the Decent One Max electric scooter. Um, it's exactly the same for uh, all the other scooters of the same design with a removable battery in the stem. So the first step is to remove the reflective strip on the uh, cover. Now this process that we've shown you here is exactly the same for both sides of the scooter. So what you see, what you do, what we see here, uh, you just repeat on the other side. So remove the screw, and then just above that screw, there's a little bung. So carefully prise that bung out, and behind that there is another screw. So undo that as well. Uh, and now that you've removed the four screws, so that's two each side, you can remove the, the plastic covers. And you can then loosen the, um, the axle nut. Uh, so that, we found this quite stiff, so you need to give it a bit of, bit of force. So you can loosen that off and then do the same on the other side of the axle. But before you can actually remove the wheel, you will also have to remove the, the, the mud guard from, from the scooter. Okay, so the, the axle nuts are now loosened off, uh, so we can now look to, to remove the mudguard. And at the top of the, the wheel, it's mounted uh, by two screws each side. So you need just a small Phillips screwdriver, and you can just remove, uh, undo those, and then remove the mudguard. Okay, once the mudguard is removed, you can remove the wheel. Now, on, in this example, we uh, the motor is still attached to the controller, so this is what you need to do if you, if you have a puncture and you just need to get access to the to the uh, inner tube to replace the, the inner tube. Um, if you need to actually replace the motor, then you'll also have to uh, remove the controller from the scooter, which we'll cover in, in another video. Uh, if you need to know how to mend the puncture, then we've got a link to a video showing you how to um, replace the inner tube on, on the wheels. Uh, so we'll put a link below for that. And the reinstallation process is exactly the same um, as the removal. Um, just remember that on, on, when you put it back together, there are two washers on the axle. So the small one goes right next to the wheel, then you've got the fork, and then you've got the larger washer, uh, and then you've got the nut. So just make sure you get them in the right order. And make sure once you've uh, put it all back together, doing, uh, put it back together again, everything's nice and tight. That's it. Any questions? Let us know. It, is, it really is quite quite straightforward.